A piano with chains on it. Yes, because the wife was a musician, wasn't she? If I remember rightly. Ah! See, wasn't it scary the second time you did it, but you got me the first time? And welcome to my little corner of YouTube. I am in Iran Plays, and this is Layers of Fear Part 3. I'm already absolutely terrified, and I haven't even started yet. Uh, if you have, if this is the first video you've watched, then please check out Part 1 and Part 2. What's over here? Am I missing something? Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Okay, we did that in the last video. And we did that in the last video as well, but we'll do it again. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, I'm assuming we're going to have another sort of four parts to the painting I can see it's coming together <sighs> so as, although I'm scared already and I don't really want to go through the door let's do it anyway form emerges all right I think this is similar to the last time we were through here Paint shit and hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's try this door first then. <sighs> oh, a piano with chains on it. Yes, because the wife was a musician, wasn't she? If I remember rightly. Ah! See, wasn't it scary the second time you did it, but you got me the first time? Oh, okay. I wish we had a torch or something like that, because it is so dark. What was that? What's flashing? What's that? Okay. All right. We're ju we're just gonna. Uh, ah! <laughs> what was that? Shit! And I missed it. Oh god. Right. I need light. I need I need light. I can't see. Uh. Books and clothes. Nothing in there. Okay. And then we've got another cupboard. Oh, an empty room. Nothing's going to happen in here. Nothing. I'm, I'm going to look. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. What's that say? Creator's block. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, going insane. Oh, oh. A dirty, messy hallway. Someone should really clean. Oh, it's just a doll. I'm going to check it out, though. For what, I wonder. Oh, that's very crunchy. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay. Oh, and it's changed again. Good times, good times. At least there's light in here. Um. Hmm. 
How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, just so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can't tell he's dis disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt and repulsion. I have come to realise that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing... A woman should ever experience still being the food, good wife, food, good wife that I am. I decided to realise my husband fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I shall sure as hell act the parts. Yeah, I should have just pressed space bar on that, shouldn't I? Would have been easier to read. Anything in here? Don't forget. June, don't forget. I think that was the anniversary that we'd forgotten about because we were locked in the study, if I remember rightly. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's get some light on in here, shall we? I don't want to look out the window, but I think something's going to come out the window. Um. Oh, back in here. Uh, I'll check these again, just in case. No. That looks like something we should be reading, but obviously not. See, it's changed because it was paint stuff in there last time, wasn't it? Oh, lovely picture. Lovely picture. Pile of books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Could have sworn I heard that echoing sound. Oh, no, it's in here. Oh! Blind fools, ingrates, cretins. Blind fools, ignorance, okay. Phew, that's that guy again. Ugly, ugly, ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. Me, I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. Pleb. I love the word pleb. You don't hear it enough anymore. You really don't. Alright, let's... So we've... Seen that. I'm assuming we've just got to go back out again. Maybe? I don't know. Um, Alright, let's head out anyway. Uh, go down here. Get some light on. Oh, I don't think we've been down there yet. But then we've got a door here. Let's check the door while we're up here. Okay, let's not check the door while we're up here. And let's go down. See what terrifying things await us down here. Oh, there is a lamp. So we're going to get that bad boy on. Okay. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Turn on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Is there anything to pick up around here? No. Nothing to have a look at. It's just all too quiet at the minute. I've just got a feeling something's coming. Oh, maybe not. Okay. The hell is that? A phone, maybe? For goodness 
to say. The opening of cupboards is a little bit weird. Dear Sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unriving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that would require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Okay, so she was deformed and that gave her a grin. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like. Ooh. What is that noise? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is it the candles? Is there like a phone somewhere I need to answer? Oh, there it is. There it is. No, well, I can't answer it. Okay, we're just going to ignore it. Keep walking around. Ugh, God, that noise is very annoying. <laughs> um... Um, maybe if we go back this way. Ah, okay. So that. Yes, Felix. Okay, so all oh, right, it was going backwards. That's why it sounded weird. So I need it to come. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, oh, for God's sake. Can I answer it now? Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? What? What fire? fire. Oh, God. God. Is she? she... Which, hospital? Which hospital? I'm on my I'm way. On my way. Okay, the plot thickens. Well, it doesn't really. We already knew that, but you know what I mean. Um. Ah, okay. So, do I need to go right now? Yes. Restless memories. Ah, oh, never a good sign when there's a flashing light. Ah! Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. Oh, no light. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, my God. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Oh, fuck. I, I, that, that, that got me. That, that, that got me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> hmm. Right, what else? 
Yep, alcoholic. So is this like purgatory and she's tormenting... Tormenting the painter? Oh, God. 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 Just run. What's happening? Oh, tentatively look around. <laughs> okay, let's just edge. Ever so closely. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Hope is the mind killer. Okay. Yep. Everything's good. Everything's fine. I'm going to stand back just in case something tries to reach out and grab me. Uh. Oh, it's behind. Is it behind me? Oh, it sounded like some a door open then or something. Okay. All right. Abandon hope while you can. Oh no, I abandoned that in part one. Uh. Oh, back in this empty room. Okay. Uh, a broken glass. What I've, what I've learned with this game is you've just got to be brave and do the... Oh, rats. <laughs> As I was saying, you've just got to be brave and do these things and just go for it. Oh. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a tap. Okay. I don't know why I turned that on. I'm terrified of opening doors now, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to try that door anyway. Ooh. Do, do I really need to... What's that? Oh, another doll. Okay. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No... No baths for me. Okay, stop it. Stop it now. If there's a silent floater, I best flush the flush the bog. No, nope. okay. All right. It won't flush. I don't know what that did. You see, I'm a big brave boy. Big brave boy. Nope. Okay, so... Oh, for goodness sake. Everything's locked. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hang on a minute. Right, is this lulling me? Am I being lulled? Oh, God, that's freaky. It's like Doctor Strange. Come on, just get to the end of the corridor. Get to the end of the corridor. I almost said horrider, which would have been fitting. All right, come on, Limpy, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Oh, back in the basement. And there's the piano. All right, let's just 
quickly make sure there's nothing we need to read or find. Oh god, what is that? Oh, it's when you get near the piano, I think. Ooh, what's that? Patient thirsty, dangling dread, fairy, fairy, afraid to look up, fairy leeches. Ooh, I missed that then, because it slightly froze on me. Okay. Um, right, I think we're just gonna have to do it, aren't we? I don't think there's anything else to look at. <laughs> deep breath, deep breath. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. Okay, things are going weird. Things. Things are going odd. What's. Do I need to just get out of here? I... Let me just double, triple check that I'm not missing anything. Oh. No, let's... Let's get the funk out of here. Oh God. Let's, let's leave. Let's leave. You watch this door being locked. It feels like the piano's following me. <laughs> I don't like it. Ah! Ugh, okay. Right, I'm going back down there then. <sighs> this nightmare ever end. <laughs> no, it's so dark. Guess we're heading back towards the piano. Something there. What is it? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay then. You big weirdo. Alright, so he used various different things to create the painting. And I'm guessing that parts of his wife, like skin for the canvas, bone for whatever blood for paint you know the normal stuff I think we've read all of that yeah that's just what we collect um, Oh, they're what we're collecting as we go. Anything in the drawers? I don't think there ever is, but we'll check anyway. No. And there are the cupboards that are all locked. All right. Let's do it. Huh. Okay. Oh, looks even nicer. What if you fail? We won't fail. All right. And there we go. There's the third item found. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you haven't seen any of the videos that I've done, then please check them out. There are a playlist with other spooky games. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm still scared.